Welcome back, luxury enthusiasts. Today we're diving into the realm of opulence and extravagance as we unveil the seven most expensive houses in the USA. From stunning architectural marvels to lavish estates that redefine the meaning of luxury, these residences are not just homes, they're masterpieces of design and exclusivity. Join us on this journey as we explore the jaw-dropping features, breathtaking views, and mind-boggling price tags that make these homes the epitome of high-end living. Let's dive into the allure of the seven most expensive houses in the United States. 1. 220 Central Park South, New York City, New York, $240 million. In a city known for its multi-million dollar real estate deals, there is one that looms over all others, the 2019 sale of four floors in America's most expensive residential building, 220 Central Park South, which became the most expensive property sold in U.S. history. Kenneth Griffin, the CEO and founder of Citadel, a hedge fund firm that manages more than $60 billion in assets, spent just shy of $240 million on the record-breaking acquisition, four years after first agreeing to the purchase. The three-story mega-home inside Central Park Tower, which spans more than 17,500 square feet, is the country's most expensive listing. It is also the highest situated at over 1,400 feet and spanning the 129th to 131st floors. Perched on Manhattan's Billionaire's Row, a strip of super-tall skyscrapers along the southern edge of Central Park, it is being marketed as the ultimate real estate trophy for a billionaire looking to tower over New York City. 2. Michael Eisner's Mansion Malibu, California, $225 million. Sun, Sea, and Sirius Star Power It is of little surprise one of the most expensive houses in the U.S. is situated in the ever-captivating coastal city of Malibu, California, where everyone from Paris Hilton to Sergey Brin has put down roots. Comprising nine separate properties dotted across five acres of land with panoramic views over the Pacific, the Cliffside Estate stands out even among its impressive neighbors. The 25,000 SQFT main house boasts plenty of character, despite its gargantuan proportions. Vaulted ceilings, exposed beams, and double-height arched windows combine to create a breezy, beachy idyll flooded with light. There is the prerequisite gym swimming pool and home cinema, but one of the more unusual features is the private lift that takes residents and guests down to the oceanfront cabana below. Such luxury in prime location comes at a price. The Malibu Mansion was listed for $225 million in 2022. 3. Tarpon Island Palm Beach, $218 million. Tarpon Island was bought in 2021 by Florida-based developer Todd Michael Glazer, who remodeled the original 1930s British colonial-style mansion to create an 11-bedroom oasis in one of the wealthiest regions of the U.S. A status symbol with serious look-at-me appeal, the property boasts two pools, two private docks, a 1300-odd FT stretch of beachfront, a five-car garage, and a flood-lit tennis court giving homeowners little reason to leave the tranquility of this self-contained compound with leisure at the forefront of its design. Inside, some amenities have become standard fare for such high-end houses, including a gym, wine cellar, and spa. In total, the living space stretches out across 22,000 SQFT. Glacer and his partners bought the property for $85 million in 2021, but the extensive work has driven up the asking price, which was listed as $218 million in December 2022. 4. The Penthouse at Central Park Tower, New York City New York $195 million views across Manhattan from the Central Park Tower Penthouse. A cloud-skimming triplex offering the pinnacle of luxury living this palatial penthouse lays claim to the title of being the highest residence in the world. It is the jewel in the crown of Central Park Tower, the world's tallest residential building. Occupying 17,000 SQF of living space in one of the most luxurious properties on Manhattan's Billionaire's Row. It is easy to see why this is one of the most expensive houses in the U.S. Seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and 1433 SKFT of outdoor space, 
which provides the perfect vantage point from which to survey the everlasting magnificence of Central Park and the lights of Midtown and downtown beyond, modern-day Gatsby will no doubt delight in the 2000 SQFT private ballroom and 1500 Grand Salon. The building designed by Adrian Smith, plus Gordon Gill architecture asserts itself as a dominating presence in the Big Apple, Yet there hasn't been the interest in the flagship property that the developers might have hoped the price has been dropped from 250 million to 195 million hours. 5. Penthus 73 at 220 Central Park South New York City, New York, 198 million. A second entry to the list for Duwadidi Central Park South was added in January 2022 when a sprawling duplex owned by billionaire investor Daniel Ock, founder chairman and former CEO of Oak Ziff Capital Management, was sold for $188 million. It was more than double the $92.7 million paid for the unit. Known as Penthouse 73, the four-bedroom apartment offers almost 1,000 SQFT of living space and views over Central Park. All properties in 220 Central Park South have access to the building's extensive facilities, including a golf simulator library and private dining rooms. Penthouse 73 encompasses 9817 square feet on the 73rd and 74th floors of 220 Central Park South. It includes four bedrooms, five full bathrooms, and two powder rooms, as well as a 796-square-foot terrace, according to the most recent offering plan by the developer Vornado Realty Trust. A 545-square-foot studio maids room on the 19th floor bought for $2.1 million at the same time as the duplex was also included in the deal. 6. Manila Pan Estate Palm Beach, Florida, $173 million records were set in the Sunshine State in 2022 when Larry Ellison, the co-founder of Oracle, with an estimated net worth of $93.7 billion, purchased an estate in Manalapan, an affluent suburb of Palm Beach, for $173 million. Formerly owned by the Ziff family, the property was most recently owned by Netscape co-founder Jim Clark, who purchased the estate for $94 million in 2021. It changed hands just over a year later. Connected by a series of tunnels, the compound offers a 12-bedroom main house, two four-bedroom beachfront cottages, a seven-bedroom mango house, a staff house, and recreational amenities including a swimming pool golf area, a tennis court, and half basketball court. 7. Spelling Manor. Los Angeles, California. 155 million. The Spelling Manor, also known simply as The Manor, is an ostentatious example of Los Angeles living. The legacy of the late super producer Aaron Spelling lives on through his canon of pop TV successes and his real estate. Spelling Manor, also known simply as The Manor, was built by Spelling on the site of Bill Crosby's former Los Angeles home. The 56,000 SQFT Mapleton Drive property was inspired by French Chateau and offers 123 rooms, 14 bedrooms, and 27 bathrooms. Spelling and his family added some peculiar additions to the house, such as multiple gift wrapping rooms, a flower cutting room, a room solely dedicated to Spelling's wife Candy's doll collection, and a massive walk-in closet. The quirky additions continued after it was bought in 2011 by Formula One heiress Petra Ecclestone, who oversaw the installation of a beauty salon, a nightclub, and a two-lane bowling alley. Due to its secluded and private position, there is space for a 100-car garage, a resort-like spa and pool and English gardens. Ecclestone, who paid $85 million for the property, first listed it for $200 million in 2016. The price was reduced several times before it was acquired by an unnamed Saudi Arabian buyer for $120 million in 2019. At the time, it marked the most expensive residential sale in LA County history. The manor was put on the market for $165 million in February 2022 and relisted in January 2023 for $155 million. Although this marks a $10 million drop, it is still one of the most expensive houses in the U.S. That's all for today. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and turn on the bell icon.